Hello, and I'm the Eternal Disappointment, and this is our sixth episode of our Hogwarts Legacy playthrough. Um, welcome back. Uh, we just got through the restricted access part of the library looking for a book. Um, Mr. Fig, or Professor Fig told us not to. We didn't really quite listen. We had help from Sebastian, who took the fall for us with the librarian when that uh, Peeves the ghost or whatever sold us out. Hmm, what's going on here? You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood? Makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. Yes, he does. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. We're gonna get a lecture for that one. What? That's... Wait, you accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Wow. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Look at my hat. Oh. Oh dear, some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful that it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive, Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm, perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until Ooh, we know look more. Look at the little Sasquatch in the back. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Look at that Sasquatch your behind Professor Fig. is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Yes, I must thank Sebastian. Look at that. Ooh, there's something in it. That, that little stone it's holding looks like ancient magic. Like little blue tints. Ooh, oh, mail. It's time to prove your dueling metal and see if we've a new school champion. Meet me at the usual place for the final round of crossed ones. Also, the training dummy is still available. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Ooh, I think I want to go talk to her. Then I just sent an owl post requesting you to meet her in the Lower Hogsfield Hamlet. Mead, Forbidden Forest. This is a world map. Most of the map is covered by fog, limiting what you can see. Hamlets are small communities through the world. This hamlet, Lower Hogsfield Hamlet, provide new opportunities for vendors, flu flames, side quests, and collectibles. Ooh, so we're going over there. As you explore, you are moved far from and reveal more from the map, unveiling new opportunities like hamlets, dungeons, bandit camps, and many other locations. Professor Fig and Weasley 
have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. We just got all types of quests. Um, Alright, let's go take a gander at what quests we do have. I kind of want to go help do the professor thing to learn. Avoid enemy attack. Alright, that just sounds like something I'm... Okay, I think that's just going to happen for me going doing things over time. Um find her gobstones. That's I can go to herbology class or let's uh, I don't really feel like sitting in class right now. Let's go and uh Hmm, actually, we probably need to do the class. This is like level 4 and this is level 3. I actually don't even know what level we are. But I should still... We're level 8. Oh, okay, we're good. But I think that... Um, I heard you can build things in this game. I think the Herbology class might lead to that. I also need some potions, because I'm gonna die. I'm already dying a lot. So we're gonna go to another class, unfortunately. I don't think I can get away with skipping this one. Why can't I jump on these desks? Alright, I want everyone to comment whether they like the hat or not. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Ignatia Wildsmith. I don't actually know if that's how you say her name. But she likes being part of my field guide. Hmm. Oh, okay, so only 135 feet. Am I going the right way? No, I am not. There's a cat. It is beautiful. Damn. Florida don't look like this. Revelio. Anything here? This really seems like a courtyard to have something. pretty the game is just really beautiful wow damn uh, one lock All right, I can wait and that's how I start the class but um I kind of want to explore Floor. Okay, I'm actually just gonna get lost. Right, let's go back. Let's start the class. The sooner we start it, the sooner we get to go home and play video games. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. Uh, the look Sebastian's giving me right now. We do look forward to uh, growing he knows together. How he knows I owe him big. to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist knowledge. is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. 
Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. What? Interesting. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair it. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. What? Now for our next task, we'll okay. be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like knotgrass. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. I'll say. Nearly went deaf. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal, so remember to keep those ears protected. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Picked them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. Uh -huh. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Where Let's is my see table? How to balance my star thistle arrangement? Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Dittany, ten minutes. Yield five this is a medicinal herb used in the Wigan Weld potion. Dittany seeds can be purchased at the Magic Neep and can be grown in pots of any size. Well uh, excuse done. me, oh, Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wigan Weld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora: the Chinese chomping cabbage. Oh, that sounds fun. That some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Dear, dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Wow. Who the hell said they volunteer to go with me? Oh. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me. Your duel with Sebastian. And he's Follow. good thinks he's really good but you outright slaughtered him it was brilliant oh here we are home of the chinese chomp go on grab a few of those cabbages the chinese just chomping find... cabbages now, see that dummy just toss the cabbages at it and they'll do the rest i'm gonna collect them all and we're gonna see what happens here when i uh hold tab then tap Look at that. Oh, shit. Well, chomping anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. Booba tubers. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. 
Trust me, Leander. I was imagining it the entire time. <laughs> you were? I mean, of course. You're, uh, not someone to be trifled with. I see that. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants, too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we, uh, probably ought to head back to class. Can I pick him back up? I'll see you back in class. Oh, oh, you just died, what? So if I hit tab, I throw... This guy's interesting. I don't quite trust him. Ooh, not grass spring. Anything else around here? Gotta find the right way back. And was that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide Six gloves? Six minutes. I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. <laughs> and good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. I am as I am. Plants. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. I do wonder about to make anything grow. We must first understand. What was she it. talking about, Professor that Fig? For plants as well as friendships, kindness and concern are as necessary in the greenhouse as in the great hall. Come back later for those. I don't feel like sitting here for ten minutes. Where am I going? What are you up to now? Ditney leaves. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Shoot. Rebellion. Isn't there just a thing floating right here? Oh, right here. Greenhouse tree. Situated at the center of the Hogwarts greenhouse, this giant tree has a stem of roots as deep reaching the convoluted re deep reaching and convoluted as the school's dungeons. Interesting. All right, now let's go see what our next quests are. Quests. Potions class. Oh, I do need to learn potions. Yes, that's exactly what I need to learn. Do you want to talk to me, sir? You look like you might have... Whoa, man. What's going on with you? If I had to pick up a Mermaids. Rumor is, Professor Hedrick used to work for the ministry. I wonder what she did. I suspect most Ooh, what is this? Interesting. I don't know what that does. Oh. I think it has something to do with rolling that. If anyone in the comments knows... Okay, I'm gonna... Come back to that this later. Looks like Let's learn our potions. Someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade. Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely. All of them talking crap. He knows more than he's letting on about the Goblin Rebellion. Who 
potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. We it can, can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion Man, of Professor House, your or Dr. Own. House. What, you know, TV show, You House. never know when you might need it. Please begin. About four times a battle, at minimum. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Hork lump. Hork, hork lump juice. Stir the cauldron. Doctor House is coming. My stylish hat. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Ew. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. So what am I making? We can well potion added. The Ashwinder eggs. My parents considered keeping me home from school. This Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an Okay, orator. I wanted to hear more about his parents Who's keeping him home. It? My Wigan Well potion's utter rubbish. Wish I could just replace it with one from Jay Pippins. Some people don't have money, you know, to go and buy everything from Jay Pippins. Oh, his office is over this way. I'm just lost. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. Oh, we're gonna see I'm some Gareth, stuff. by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure the to mommy's meet you. boy. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fupa feather. As you'll Whooper. already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. I can get you that I'll feather. Get you a feather. As long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fupa feathers aren't that valuable. Uh -huh. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Uh-huh. I don't imagine this is gonna go very well. Your potion should not be Mongrel fur. Ashwinder eggs and a fwoopa feather. Ooh, I wanna see a fwooper. Ooh, well, whatever this is. Borgen and Burks has had an increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of night and suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Given what we know about the shop's reputation, we are adding more aurors. Aurors? I don't know what the hell that means. To join that have already been watching the shop, you are amongst the new additions. Further instructions to follow. 
61. I've stole 61 gold from my professor. It's a cool little jar. Oh, you can't break it. Remember, precision is key when brewing potions. Here's the flopper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you. Some neon pink this is going feather. To take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Do you just, just stand over there while class is going on? Interesting. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. An Eridurus potion. Enhance the defend the drinker's defense, covering the durable rocky skin. <gasps> 30 seconds. Looks like a bottle of, um, Willet bourbon. This feels like one of those things that I'm not going to use very often. Mm. Jesus, that was a long 30 seconds. And now we add the mallow sweet and that's all. Dittany leaves and horn club happening? juice. So something's about to Wait, happen. I want to watch. Ah! Get it! Get oh. Ooh. What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be point from Gryffindor, again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Accomplice. I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wigan Weld potion. Oh, you're the new student. I've heard much about you. Um, thank you. I'm Amit, by the way. A pleasure, truly. And I've never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wiganweld potion on their first try. Well done. I'm glad I was able to get it right the first time. You must simply have a knack for potion making. Some students seem so confounded by potion recipes, it's as if they're written in gobbledygook. A fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really, but I am a self-taught speaker. Have gobbledygook. Beard, good conversation is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love it. Professor Shaw is firm, but quite clever. See you soon, no doubt. Let's see if he noticed that we stole something from his office. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. <laughs> I have no idea what you mean. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Professor. You will not earn favor with me by failing to take responsibility for your <laughs> actions. I suggest you heed my warning. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student i'm glad i was able to meet your expectations a rare occurrence and you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet in addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves pay particular attention in herbology the plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Um, so I assume here is a safe of space. Us had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. I want to talk to these people. They keep running away. Potion can treat injuries. Hope I never need it. Oh, I need it a plenty. Let's talk to this guy. That Get was me in an trouble. interesting class. Thanks to you wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. I heard him talking about taking responsibility. <laughs> Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after that. head is so stupid. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. 
best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. All right, Sebastian here. Create a storm around the drinker, which stun and damage nearby enemies. You're doing spell cooldowns, spell increased damage. Turns invisible. Purchased, 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 purchased. I have to buy the uh, stuff to make them. What are we up to next? Wish I could hold V to open up my quests. Quests. Alright, I'm going to do this in the next episode because that sounds like it's going to be a full episode worth of stuff. Um, is there anything else I can... No, actually, let's get started on walking over there. I really don't care to do a fight club. How far? Oh, okay, we might be fast traveling here. Actually, I kind of want to explore. Unless it's not possible for me to... It is. Okay, I just didn't want to... What are you doing? Go for this exploration. Is Lower Hawksbrook in Jump. <laughs> Natty, I mean Natty Light. This game's so interesting. Just all the everything. The cat. All the statues singing. Who are you? Rebellion. A broken broom belonged to the Selene Wardenby and is rumored to be all that remains after she insisted on demonstrating her experimental lunar apparition charm to fellow third years. No one knows if she succeeded. Sounds like she was trying to go to the moon. It's about time Hogwarts put someone like Black in charge. Perhaps now we can stop all these disgusting mudblots from ruining the school. Mudblots. These kids are just talking crap all day long. Jesus. Let's learn this. Get this flu flame. We're gonna start fast traveling soon. I just kind of want to explore a bit. That's cool. If you guys don't want to watch me running over here, you guys can just skip through the video. Double tap, skip 10 seconds or whatever it is. Rebellion. Ooh, what is this? Leaping toadstool. Oh. I keep fat fingering the wrong button. Ooh. I'm actually really starting to enjoy this game. I mean, not starting. I've actually enjoyed most of this the entire time. <gasps> More. What's up here? More. Ooh. It's gorgeous. Rebellion. Moonstone. Really... You. I'm gonna like walk in on something I really shouldn't be. Ooh, a scarf. I think I like that one even better. I will right, we'll put that on in a second after we explore this tower. Where all the owls go? Who are you? I want to talk to you. They're so cool. That's kind of creepy, actually. But, um, I love owls. 
so cool. I guess I should have gotten the uh, hint that when I saw the owls. Oh. Do you want to talk to me? No. Well, you look like an asshole. Adios, so. Nice and owl. Okay, um... Alright, that's enough exploring. Let's go find Natty Onai. Miss Onai. The owls are cool. Oh, Jesus. It's bright outside. We running down a hill. I used to do this when I was a kid when we go on vacation. We're running down a hill and see how fast you can go. Because Florida doesn't have hills. Florida doesn't have anything other than flatland. Ah, yeah. There's a rainbow. Rainbow. All right. We that was a tad bit creepy. Cool little shed over here, a little shack along the water. Chickens! What is this? Are you goat, sheep, ram? You look like a sheep. Mountain goat, I don't know what you are. What are you? You're dark and creepy. Well, this looks like some sort of like a uh, um, worm shop or something. I should investigate. Shh. Investigate what? I just investigated. I'm confused. That man looks extra creepy. Let's go over here first. It is good to see you, my friend. Natty. Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? I'm not. Oh, I've never I've met already Rookwood or Harlow. Spilled way too much. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Serona stand up to Rookwood and Hollow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What are you standing what against? Stand? Men like Rookwood and Hollow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili Land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Rookwood and Hollow are a dangerous pair on their own. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. We're gonna go beat that the crap out of this guy? We're gonna go jump him? Officer Singer handled someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but 
perhaps understandably would not discuss details with their students. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. She's going to go investigate I more. Beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? What's going on here? Let's go uh, investigate. Sounds like I gotta beat somebody up. They must have come this way. Think. Oh, but yeah. You... I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi, speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student, you can't be so. <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stay with me. going on here the collection section of your field guide has been updated with a new enemy type you may learn valuable insights and enemies such as their weakness to certain spells It didn't heal. It didn't heal. It didn't heal. Try again. Apologies for um is lacking in skill. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. And I'm gonna set your feet on fire. Going anywhere. You'll take this to the top of my I'm just warming up. Tell Rook to find yourself. Akio, let me see. I want to loot the bodies. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Who are you? Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Defensive, Could getting you tell hit. tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya? Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. Nocturne She's a traveling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. Research. You're a you researcher. Doing? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. 
I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. Interesting. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the Trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. I want to see if your theory you works. See, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I apologize for this episode going a bit a long. I brought full of Mallow Suite oh, This is it. too interesting to end here. by my tent. This it feels like the first half of this episode yes, was kind of, uh... Even if you already have some. I have some other sweet. Lovely. Now, Useless sitting in class. the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Whoa. See that? The vines disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted <laughs> territory. I am curious about these pyres. Let me go set them on fire. Let's see what happens. Incendio. Merlin's beard! The flames make the pyre sink. When in doubt, set them on fire. Merlin himself would be proud. Today, I can hardly believe Revelio. What just happened? I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require Mallow Suite, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. You as well. And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Well, I do apologize for this episode going a bit long. Oh, she's taken. Oh, well, I was going to use that as a backdrop to end the episode. She stole it all. And she disappeared! Well, I don't know what just happened. Magic. But Greetings, young uh, Slytherin. Scrope knows about the old book you found. Scrope. Scrope can help you. And you can help Scrope. Get to the courtyard past the pendulum. If you don't know it, you'll see it easy enough. And don't tell anyone what you're up to. Especially Professor Black. Um, I really don't have any intentions of telling Professor Black. Um, I don't trust you, though. Well, uh, sorry this went a bit long. Um, but thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, and comment on my dorky-ass hat.